Today we're cooking in the air fryer. We're gonna make some beer battered cod and we're gonna make some homemade french fries and we're gonna make some homemade tartar sauce. These are so super easy, absolutely delicious and you're gonna wanna stick around for this one. Welcome to Easy Eatery. Let's start off with the french fries. So I took two russet potatoes. I scrubbed them down really, really well. I'm keeping the skins on. You can cut it off if you would like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and chop those down into little french fry size pieces. I'm gonna try and make them pretty much even. Now we're gonna grab a bowl of cold water and just put all of those in there. And we're gonna let them hang out for about an hour. Now let's start on our beer batter. So I'm gonna take a cup of flour and some cornstarch. I'll have everything listed for you in the description box and some baking soda and just kind of fluff that around a little bit. Now we're gonna grab an egg and we're just gonna go ahead and crack that right in there and just kind of mix that up just a little bit until it, the yolk gets all incorporated, like until it gets incorporated. And then we're gonna grab some beer. I'm using Bud Light. Feel free to use whatever it is that you would, would like to put in there. It's just what I had in my refrigerator and just gonna kind of mix it up nice and slow. And you wanna mix it up until it has this kind of consistency right here. Now we wanna cover it up and put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Our hour is up on our french fries, so I just spread those out on a, um, my rack to stick in the air fryer, put them in at 375 for 10 minutes. Our 20 minutes is up on our beer batter, so let's go ahead and get started on our fish. So I'm gonna take another, I have to make a dredging station, so I'm gonna grab another separate bowl, add some flour. Again, everything will be listed down below in the description box. So I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper, and then we're gonna grab some paprika, and it's gonna give it a nice little flavor and color, and also grab some cayenne and put that in there because it's gonna give it a nice little spice. Mix that all together, and here comes the fun stuff. We're gonna start dipping. Just kidding, I don't like this part at all. <laughs> anyway, here is our um, our cod. So this is just one that I get from Schwann's. I love these because they're individually wrapped and perfect for me. It's already thawed out. So just gonna go ahead and cut that in, down into thirds. Okay, here comes the fun messy stuff. So we're gonna grab our fish and we're gonna put it into the beer batter first. It's a nice little pancakey, like consistency batter. So it's gonna get stuck on there really well. Then we're gonna put it into our flour and just kind of roll it around. We do wanna kind of pack it down in there the best that we can. And we're just gonna grab our other pieces. Now, obviously I made a little bit too much batter, which was a total waste of a beer to me, but okay, it wasn't even a whole beer. It was a half a beer, but still it's a half a beer. All right, just kidding. All right, we're just gonna kind of tap that off of there, get the, you know, like the remaining um, flour off of there. And we're just gonna continue on with the rest of these guys. Okay, so my fork isn't really doing it for me. I already have one hand all messy. Might as well get the other one messy too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll those in there and kind of pat it in there the best I can. Alrighty, there we go. So we're gonna take some of our spray oil. I'm using just olive oil and we want to make sure that we get every single little piece of that fish completely drenched with oil. We don't want to see any white on there at all. We want to completely cover up every single little bit of speckle of flour. Kind of keep an eye on it too while it's air frying. Speaking of air fryer, we're going to go ahead and flip over our french fries, stick those up on the top rack, cook them with the uh, the cod. We're going to put them at 390 degrees and this time we're going to put them in both of them in for 12 minutes. So while those are cooking, let's go ahead and make our tartar sauce. I'm gonna use some dill pickles. You can use sweet if you would like, and you can actually use relish if you would like. It'd be, probably be a whole lot easier. Um, so I have three quarters of a cup, and I'm gonna add those into a bowl, and I'm gonna add in three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. I'm using just real mayonnaise. You can cut up some dill here. I'm using some parsley. I know it's not totally the same, but uh, it still has a really good flavor, nice and fresh. And we're just gonna kind of 
add in some salt or not some salt I'm sorry we're not using salt this time we're just using pepper and we're gonna add in a couple little splashes of lemon and a little bit of sugar and then we're just gonna mix that all together that's it we, that's how you make tartar sauce I mean how easy is that so anyway that is it let's push it off to the side because things are done now so gonna grab some some ketchup for my french fries and I'm gonna use some tartar sauce for my my fish and you guys it is coming out look at our french fries so those ended up taking a total of 22 minutes in the air fryer now we did have it at 375 first and then we put it up to um 390 for the second half of it and our cod here you guys is looking absolutely lovely no i can't stand it i've got to take a bite so french fries you guys are nice and crunchy on the outside and look at their cook to perfection on the inside oh my gosh so good gotta try out our cod i mean look at that you guys it's just so beautiful let me crack it open here just a little bit so you can see all the flakiness going on in there look at that i mean i'm sorry but my camera just does not do it justice because this is cooked to perfection only 12 minutes and that tartar sauce you guys it has such a beautiful tang to it this is like totally restaurant quality i mean oh my gosh this is so good we'll definitely be making this many many times i'm telling you just delicious and that is it thank you so much for joining me today if you're new to my channel please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next one you guys this is so good oh my goodness